In this video, I'm using this awesome e-scooter by Wingu, and I'm gonna show you the best 360 shots, the best mounts, and also which shot lab effects work best. With lots of tips along the way, so let's get straight to it. When you shoot with a 360 camera, you want to position the camera where you can take advantage of as much of the 360 image as possible and it's always good to be able to see your face. The handlebar mounted camera is the classic shot for a scooter or a bike, and the camera gives you a great shot looking at yourself and a point of view of where you're going, and you can also look off to the side. In the bright sun, the magic of these shots is usually destroyed by the long selfie stick shadows that we see. And this is where this mount comes in, which is the PGY Tech handlebar mount. It has a clamp and an integrated small arm on a ball joint, which gets the camera far away enough that you can get that flow in camera shot but because it's small you can avoid long selfie stick shadows. The ball head also means that you can easily change the direction of the stitch line and this is important when the camera is mounted this close to an object and it means you can also switch the angle of this mount to get a shot out to the side which gives you an excellent perspective. For better stitching and clear images it's best to mount the camera at least 30 to 50 centimeters away from the surface of an object and this will depend on what 360 camera you're using. For these shots I'm using the new Insta360 60 one inch 360 camera which is a lot heavier so I've switched the handlebar mount for this clamp from iFootage. This is super strong and really compact. When you use a selfie stick on the handlebar this raises the camera higher as well so you can get a shot of your face that's not at such a low angle. From the handlebar position you can also extend the stick to one meter and even beyond and you can get a drone style overhead shot. So with the selfie stick in this position you can shoot a few of these shots for more than 30 seconds and then you can import them into shot lab and use the fly lapse and cine lapse effect. Moving to the rear bar on the scooter, we can now get a floating camera follow shot. I'm using the one inch 360 camera again with no lens guards, but it's my favorite shot, so it's worth the risk. And for this again, I'm using the iFootage clamp and a selfie stick. And taking your footage into the app, this is a great shot for the horizon flip effect in Shot Lab. And remember, to get some of these really cool reframe 360 shots, you don't have to extend the stick very far. The 360 lenses can see everything and they're super wide. And it's a bit deceiving because with wide lenses, everything appears a lot further away than it actually is. Not all shots need to be super wide though, and switching back to the PGY Tech mount, we can now get closer to the scooter and to the ground. And shots closer to the ground like this give you a greater sense of speed and this scooter goes 25 kilometers per hour, so it's pretty quick. And it's also a great position to show off the scooter's suspension. One shot that's really nice to have, but it's hard to get, is a shot of you riding past the camera on your scooter. When you're filming by yourself, these shots are a bit tricky, but there is one easy solution, and that's to use a ground spike. Attach it to your selfie stick, wind it into the ground, put your camera on top, and then start recording and ride past it. And the selfie stick with the ground spike is also a great way to shoot another shot lab effect, which is the rolling plane. Planet. So find an open space and use the ground spike and short selfie stick. Now press record and ride around the mount keeping two meters away. It's a fun effect and the ground spike makes the shot even more magical because there's no tripod showing in your shot at all. To find out more about the new 1 inch 360 camera that I used here you'll want to watch this video next. My name's Rich, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.